Hi everyone, this is Shane Norman Rowe. How would you like to use your Lenovo Duet or other Chrome OS device as a second or even third monitor that you could use right on your PC? How great would that be? I'm Shane Norman Rowe, and stick around. We're going to show you just how to do that right here on Monroe World. All right, so let's get down to business. So the trick of actually using your Chrome OS device as an additional screen is using a tool called Duet, which I find kind of funny because we're using a Lenovo Duet. But anyway, so the best part of this whole Duet display system is that it's actually a bit expensive, but you get it for free right now through the Chromebook Perks program. And this is how I got a hold of it and how I started trying it. And I'm like, wow, you know, I bet my, my viewers would probably be able to find a use for this. Now, obviously, I've got, as you saw earlier, I've already got two giant monitors. I really don't need a third. But a lot of people are working from home now, and they are sort of forced into maybe a single display at home where they used to have two at work. And I know that's affected a lot of people. So if you could use your Lenovo Duet or other Chrome OS device to act as that extra monitor for you, even if it's just to hold your email or your chat and free up your work display for something a little bigger. So let's talk about how this works. As you can see here, I've got three windows up. One is the actual Duet display app for your Chrome OS. So the truth of the matter is, yes, you do have to have a Chromebook that supports Android apps, and not everybody does, but most of the modern Chrome OS uh, notebooks or tablets support that. And of course, we're talking about the Lenovo Duet today, which of course does support that. As you can see right now, it is 50% off for a limited time, and the buy price right now is 10 bucks. So normally this is a $20 product. That's a lot, um, really. I mean, if you think about it, for an Android app, that's 20 bucks is even when you weren't getting everything for free with in-ads, in-app ads or purchases, 20 bucks is a lot of bank. So the fact that you can get this for free by going to the Perks uh, URL, I'll provide this because I'm sure it's a little bit small. I'll provide this in the description below. But by going here on your Chromebook or your Lenovo Duet, you'll get all sorts of goodies. You get some free Disney Plus, you get a free editor, Stadia Pro for free, a handful of other things. Now, this list will change based on your particular entitlements, right? So you may not see all of these. And this is in a private browser window. So this pretty much represents everything that anybody with Chrome OS could have uh, get access to but what we're curious about right here of course is duet display and you can get that perk for free now again you do need to do this while you're on your chromebook or your chrome os device once you get the perk you'll get the free app and you'll download it right from the app store and it'll be waiting for you so the next piece of the equation is you need to install an app so if you Go to the uh, duetdisplay.com. You can easily download the Windows app. And I've already done so, so I'm not going to bother going through it again. Once you install that, you will have to make an account with the Duet group. And at that point in time, you will be setting up the connectivity between your Chromebook or your Lenovo Duet. I'm just going to say Duet from now on and your PC. They do have to be on the same network, etc., etc. I mean, things that make sense, but it bears mentioning again. So I'm going to open up the Duet app, and it freaks out when it goes over to my 4K monitor. I apologize. I'm not sure how I'm going to get around this. Let's do this. Let me just grab that. Hang on. It'll only take a second here. That way you can actually see what's going on and it's not wigged out. Okay, there we go. So now you can see the actual app itself. You can see it supports um, 
in a second here. Let me get this all out of the way. So as you can see here, it supports iOS, Android, and desktop to desktop, I assume. I am no expert in this app, okay? I got it working. I'm going to share it with you. The one thing you do need to know is when you're in Android, it's going to ask you to enable Android USB support. Don't freak out. You don't have to tether this. It doesn't have to be wired. Um, but what you what you may miss is that there's an Air tab up here, and this Air tab is what gives you that connectivity. Oh, my Chromebook went to sleep. Sorry about that. Let's wake that back up. My Lenovo went to sleep when I wasn't paying attention. There we go. So, by the way, if you haven't figured it out, this is the duet down here at the bottom. Okay, so let's go back to um, the actual duet itself. Um, let me move the... Let me move my video capture to the top. Oops. Uh, you know, the troubles and tribulations with OBS. Okay. So on my, uh, on my Duet or my Chrome OS device, I now have the app Duet installed. So I'll run it. I have already signed in. I've already done all the connections. There's nothing really bizarro about setting it up and getting it linked other than the uh, part that I mentioned before, which is um, which is getting the um, which is getting this piece here set up and choosing air. You'll notice now that with air, it recognizes my Chromebook because I am running the Duet app on it currently. So I'm going to select. I'm going to select that Chromebook and it's going to flicker around a little bit, do some fun stuff, readjust some resolution as necessary. And now uh, it'll ask you if you want to auto connect. I will say nada. All right. So we really don't need to see this anymore. So we don't need to see the duet screen. Now, this is interesting because right now on my Duet, I am seeing an extension of my screen, but it's not coming through the Elgato. That's kind of creepy. So I'm going to shoot some footage and I'm going to overlay it um, later. So as we're talking here, you can see oh, I'm all set up over there. You can see that it is acting as a third screen, and I can come over and move my mouse around, right? I can actually drag a window over there. Sorry, I'm trying to do a million things at once here. Oops. Hang on. I'm holding my phone at the same time. That's interesting. It doesn't want to zoom. So let's see here. Hang on. I should be able to do like a full screen on this guy. It should behave. There we go. Okay. Just hard to do with one hand looking over the phone. So you can see it definitely works. I mean, it's and it's pretty quick. I know you can't um, fully appreciate the speed and the snappiness of this, but it does indeed do what it's supposed to do. So with that said, we'll uh, we'll get back off the phone video, and that's that's really kind of it. Um, and it acts as a regular display within Windows, so you can actually, if you like, you can go in and now let me get rid of the video capture for the Elgato since it's not working anyway. But as you can see, if you go to your display properties in Windows the device actually shows up. Look at that, my little tiny Lenovo, my big 4K and my 1440p. So you can drag it in, and just like you would any other device, and uh, work it into your current existing monitor layout. So it's actually pretty cool. So all you have to do, of course, to uh, get rid of that is to quit the app. I know the scaling is weird on the 4K. As soon as you quit, everything sort of freaks out and goes back to normal. 
and then um, the uh, the duets no longer available. I'm going to reach over here and I'm going to close the duet app and we're all done. So that's that's kind of it. Um, so once again, you'll you'll need to um, you'll need to download the Windows client or server in this case for your um, for either Windows or Mac. I'm just saying Windows, but Mac's available. So you'll need to download, install, create an account, go get your perk from Chromebook Perks, get the Duet display, install it on your Chrome OS or Lenovo Duet, run it, sign into that same account, run the app on your PC, select Air, right? And then choose the Chromebook as it shows up. That's it. Well, listen, um, kind of short. I hope you enjoyed the video and are maybe coming up with some cool ideas on how you can utilize this Duet display to make you more productive at home or even at work. Maybe even if you're in the office, you could benefit from a second screen, but money's a little tight and they don't want to uh, put, get, hook up a second monitor for you. So drag your, uh, drag your Duet to work and use it as a second screen. All right. Anyway, please uh, like this video, subscribe, hit the little bell, and you'll get notifications of future videos like this and some not so much like this. This is Shane Norman Rowe, and as always, I appreciate uh, watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.